The Smash Wilfred Owens exposure in under three minutes? Well, let's get into it then. I love Wilfred Owen. Most of his poetry criticises the government for their exploitation of soldiers in World War I. He was sometimes, along with Siegfried Sassoon, a voice of a minority, if you like. The government's propaganda was driving the guts and the glory of war. But Wilfred Owen showed us the truth, uncensored. Written in first person, it's undeniably personal, heart-wrenching and devastating. He uses first person plural to show how it's a shared experience. All men are in this together, whether they like it or not. This makes the reader feel completely helpless. The stanzas all have regular rhyme schemes. The length of the poem and the standard form of the stanzas leave us with a real heavy sense of monotony. And as the rhymes are only half rhymes, we kind of feel like it's never quite right as the men are often confused. And there seems to be a lack of command and control here from above. The line, but nothing happens, is repeated again and again, as if it's been drilled into us that we must just sit and wait. Therefore, we empathise with these poor men. It's the weather that's the true enemy here, and there's nothing that the men can do about it. The actual battle, the simile, like the dull rumour of another war, is not really the enemy. It's the weather that's going to knife us as it's personified into this massive presence that cannot be defeated. In fact, nature's personification emphasises how it threatens men at every turn, no matter what they do. The angry, mad gusts convey the peril that these men face at its wrath. And dawn massing in the east is the gathering of a different army, a relentless attack, one that you cannot in any way, shape or form strategize for. The conditions are so harsh that even the love of God seems dying. We're losing faith here, our purpose in life. Why are we being relentlessly punished? Although Owen isn't moaning, he's criticizing. Why are we not prepared for this and supplied with things that can help us? We only know that war lasts, rain soaks and clouds sag stormy. The sagging of the clouds here echo the low morale of these poor soldiers. The men continue through because not otherwise can kind fires burn at home. They hope to be reunited with their loved ones in the warmth of family, the bosom of where they belong, which completely contrasts with their current cold, harsh and relentless situations. Sibilants and assonance are used in this poem to echo the streaking of the bullets and symbolise the endless journey. Ah, oh, Wilfred Owen, I do love you. If you'd like me to look at any of the poems that you're currently studying, please let me know.